Notice there's some metal density there. We don't know if that's on her foot, in her foot, under her foot. We have no idea. That is there. Maybe it's in the cassette. No. Juxta articular erosion. Lovely. Did you just read that off your page? Mm -hmm. Did Dr. We just learned that, yeah. I thought so. Juxta articular erosion. Yeah. Perfect, aren't they? The little edge that sticks out around this one. Here, and here, and here. Uh, probably something else here, maybe. Yeah, that's probably nothing. The heads of the um, metatarsals don't look great. This one's questionable. These ones, if you're up here, you can actually see there's some faint cortex around them. She's 80. She's osteopenic. We're seeing through them a fair bit. What's your diagnosis there? What is the diagnosis? That's what I'm asking you. Is that gout? Even though Could it be gout? Gout or pseudo gout? What's that? Pseudo gout, I suppose. But what is pseudo gout? I don't really know. It's only CPD. CPD when it presents with symptoms like gout. Okay. So what is what are the symptoms? If somebody has a, a, a gout attack, what what is they what are they feeling? Pain. Red hot. Red hot swollen joint, is it painful? Mm-hmm. So no. painful. Like we're talking, don't touch it. Even with a silk scarf, even with a feather. Get away from me, it's burning, searing, brutal pain. We had a patient in the practice that I, where I worked at the front desk when I was two. Saturday morning, comes in, first thing, gets out of bed, gotta see you, Paul. Come on, I gotta see you. Gets into the office, comes into the front uh, waiting area, on crutches, it's 35 below outside, and he has no sock and shoe on. And his ankle is just like. Diagnosed in the waiting room. <laughs> you need to go to emergency on a Saturday because your GP's closed. Get on the meds. It's a Monday. Call the doctor and get him in right away. Get them on the meds. What are the meds? Alpurinol, right? Yeah, you should be familiar with that one because you'll have patients that are on it. Um, there are others as well, but yeah, patients have. It, it's really, 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 really nasty. Quick onset. Usually wakes them up in the night or they wake up within the morning. Killer pain. So we have a case here with uh, gout that has gone on and on and on, and she's had recurrent attacks. It says that right in the history. This is the first time she's had this pain. And an acute onset of gout won't show any changes other than soft tissue swelling. Okay, but this has been going on and on and on, and now she's got tophi that are basically embedded in the soft tissue, and being pushed into the bone, and the bone is going, ah, and it's creating that perfect little round erosion. Hey, you're being crushing. Look at her eyes. <gasps> she got me. You were supposed to be here earlier. Weren't you? Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about that later. See what happens when I get to Are you in this one? Oh, you're just late, that's all? Okay. I thought you were getting crushed. You were supposed to be in a different one. Okay. So I went pseudo gout. How does it present? What are the symptoms of pseudo gout? That's why it's called pseudo gout. Because it's actually not gout, it's pseudo. Yeah. It clinically presents like it. You do a film and they've got chondrocalcinosis in the joint spaces. Oh, okay. Okay. And it won't be as easily resolved with allopurinol. They can be. It's often not as a 